Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. I was going to record another video, but I was just looking at some YouTube comments on this video I did. What was it called? Let me see. It was called Get That Girl, where I read this pretty long email from this guy that that had some some issues. And somebody had commented on that. They said, oh, no, I guess I fucked up. Friend zone forever, any advice? So I thought I'd actually answer that real quick. Uh, I haven't really talked about friend zone before, but but I, I wanted to answer that because there's there's some real real heart to heart advice I have to have with you guys that are, are, are in the friend zone that have realized this, which is just fucking give it up. My advice is yes, you fucked it up and you're in the friend zone, but who cares? It, and, and here's why I say this, right? Just move on. There's plenty of fish in the sea. Go on to a different girl. Forget about this because I'll tell you this. If you're trying to get out of the friend zone, then you're putting too much value on one girl and you're never going to get out of the friend zone when you're putting too much value on one girl. If you think that one girl is so important that you have to try and do something to get out of the friend zone, then you're just never going to be enough of a high value potential mate or male that it's going to mean that you're ever going to be able to get out of it. It's sort of a catch 22. So just give up and move on. And maybe, maybe if you do that and you don't care anymore, then perhaps that you may move out of the friend zone. But here's the irony of the situation is that you won't actually care because you've moved on and you haven't placed so much value. So a lot of you guys that are, are asking these questions that are getting obsessed over, over a girl and, and want to know about how to get out of the friend zone, it does, it's, it's totally irrelevant. It doesn't make any sense. There's, there's no point in trying to get out of the friend zone. Right? It's only important to recognize that you're in a friend zone and you've put yourself there by, like I said, how did you get in the friend zone? Most of the time it's because you did not make your intent clear, right? You were duplic duplicia, dupliti, dup <laughs> Damn, I have, today I'm having trouble saying, uh, saying certain words, but you, you had, uh, you, you were two-faced, right? You, you, you were, you had one intent, but you expressed a different one, right? Du duplicious. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, this is driving me nuts. I, I want to. I want to see this word. Uh, okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm just gonna have to move on. But okay, but you, you see what I'm saying? See now I get distracted. But my my point is that is that you were you were deceitful in some way, okay? Because you had actually wanted to hook up with this girl. You actually liked this girl, okay? But you came off as a friend or non-aggressive, and, and you've lost that opportunity. So you know it doesn't mean that you need to be like a super overbearing asshole and say uh, sexually explicit things when you talk to a, a, a female that you're interested in. Okay, they, uh, don't get me wrong there. Although in some cases that's not going to hurt if you have the confidence and the balls to pull that off. But what I'm saying is that. If you have already shown yourself to be passive and that you are actually, you know, trying to be friendly and be quote a nice guy, right? You can check out the video on being a nice guy, then you're probably gonna end up in the friend zone and it's too late and it doesn't matter, right? Like I said, you you've gotta stop stop, stop, stop trying to get out of the friend zone because it just doesn't, it, it doesn't fucking matter, right? And trying to do that is the exact thing that puts you in that position in the first place, right? The reason why you got in the friend zone was because you put too much value on a single girl, right? No girl is the girl of your dreams. I'm sorry to break your heart and to ruin your fantasies in life, but you can't have that attitude. Otherwise, you're always going to be trying not to screw it up. You're always going to be coming across needy. You're always going to be coming across as one of those guys that's trying too hard because you're putting too much emphasis on any one result, right? And now I'll tell you guys, if you're going out there and you're talking to girls and stuff, you cannot put any kind, you can't attach, you cannot attach any kind of real value to the end result. If you are really worried that you're going to screw this up, you are going to, you've already screwed it up. It's not that you're going to screw this up or that you, you have screwed it up at that point because that neediness, that that dependence on outcome is already being projected by by everything that you're doing. You're incongruent, right? Even though you're saying something, right? Your your actions, your body language, which is more than 90% of communication, is betraying you. You're being betrayed by it because in your mind you're thinking, I hope I don't fuck this up. I better not fuck this up. This is the one girl for me. I really need to get this girl. And when you're thinking that way, it, it's done. It's already done. So you've got to change your mindset. You have to completely come out of this. And I know that some of you are giving me resistance right now. What you're saying is you're saying, no, but you don't understand. You know, this is the girl that I pined over for four years and this is the only girl for me and this is the only one I want. If you 
keep on having that attitude, you are not going to change, you're not going to grow, and it's not going to happen. It just never happens, right? I mean, you tell me the story where the, maybe there's a one in a billion story where this actually works out, but in most cases, it's not going to happen. So my advice to you, if you're stuck in the friend zone, is just to say, okay, I'm moving on and move on to the next girl. Right? It's a numbers game, right? If you keep on looking for girls, and there's plenty of girls that you will like, but if you keep on doing that and you keep on approaching and you keep on talking to girls and not putting so much emphasis or effort into one particular girl and not being so results dependent, you'll stop being needy. You'll stop coming off as needy. You'll start to come off as a male that has some kind of value and respects themselves, right? And that's what's what's going to make the difference. And, and I'll tell you this last thing here. If you're acting this way, if you think that some girl is so important that you've got to get out of the friend zone with her, you are not respecting yourself. You're not a man who respects yourself. You don't have standards, right? You allow someone to treat you in a way that you do not want to be treated. And a woman that wants to hook up with a guy or wants to get together with a guy, I guess I shouldn't say hook up all the time, but gets together with a guy that 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 ha has that problem is going to have, it's going to be a problem relationship, right? Because she's going to be highly, highly needy. She's going to be highly, she's going to have a very, very low self-esteem herself right? And you don't want to get with a girl like that. That is going to be a disaster for you anyway. You see what I'm saying? Because she's going to be using you to inflate her ego. And she may just totally use you and dump you just to inflate her ego or her sense of, of self, right? Because you're not offering any value. So stop it. Give up, right? But don't, don't give up on life. Just give up on this one girl. That's it. And move on and realize that you have to grow as, as a man and you have to change this mindset if you're going to have anything happen. And, you know, if you want to hold on to this and you, you think I'm wrong and you, and you think that this is going to work out for you, you know, good luck, buddy, because it, it's just not going to happen. It, you don't hear these stories where someone turns around a friend zone, except, except for the rare instance where they completely change their life because they stop caring so much. They start stop putting so much emphasis on one girl. And I'll tell you one other thing. If you're doing this, okay, I don't, I know I told you I'd already tell you one other thing, but if you're doing this, you are making your life revolve around a girl or a relationship, right? It doesn't even have to be a particular girl, but if your life is so wrapped up in having a relationship, right, and you can only be happy with that or, or you know, with this particular girl that you're pining after, you're going to waste so much of your life and, and you're going to be missing purpose in your life. You're going to be missing the drive. And when those things disappear from your life, if, if they're not even there, you're going to feel like your life isn't worth living. And so if you feel that way right now, like your life isn't worth living, go find a good reason to live your life. Don't depend on one person. Don't depend on anything external outside of you. I, I did this video on external validation, which you should check out. I think that will help you as well. But uh, but yeah, that's all I got to say about that subject. I just want to do a quick video on that. Uh, make sure you click the subscribe button below. If you haven't already, click the bell uh, so you don't miss any videos. And I'll talk to you next time.